An analyst said the writing is on the wall for Tajuddin Abdul Rahman's career in Amno, despite his insistence that the six-year suspension imposed last week is not a death sentence. It is the second time Tajuddin has faced drastic action. In 1995, he was expelled for allegedly paying six million ringgit to secure the position of Pasir Salak Division Chief. Tajuddin was brought back to the party in 1998 and subsequently moved up the hierarchy until his appointment as a member of the Amno Supreme Council. However, in June, his appointment was revoked. Azmi of Academy Nusantara told FMT that it was the right move taken by Amno to suspend Tajuddin, the three-term Pasir Salak MP, and that his suspension meant that he will likely be dropped as a candidate in G15. He said it was time for Amno to move beyond controversial and ineffective MPs who think they are invincible and beyond reproach, as that era is over, given that voters are ready to dump even warlords who do not perform. Tajuddin, who has been critical of Amno President Ahmad Zahid Hamidi, has downplayed his suspension and said he remains loyal to the party. However, Azmi said Tajuddin was unpopular not only among Amno grassroots but also among the public at large for his antics, as shown by a wave of criticism for his behaviour at a press conference last year when two LRT trains crashed in Kuala Lumpur. Tajuddin has also sparked criticism for his outbursts in the Dewan Rakyat and his use of crude language during debates.